Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet and the government recently came to an agreement to send checks directly to qualifying people with some people receiving quite a bit of cash. So let's take a look at who's going to receive money, how much money you're going to get, and when can you expect to get your money. Now I'm not here to talk politics, I'm just here to bring you the data and the numbers. Now the stimulus package that was agreed upon is about $2 trillion in total, with $350 billion going to small businesses, $250 billion going to unemployment insurance benefits, $500 billion is available for loans to companies, with about $32 billion of that going to airports and airlines, and then $250 billion is set aside for direct payments to qualifying people. Also, if you want a simple way to help out the channel, consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn that notification bell on as well so you don't miss out on future videos. So now let's talk about these direct payments. For the people who are going to be getting money, it's going to depend on your tax filing status, when you filed your taxes, and your adjusted gross income. Because if you're someone who's already filed your 2019 taxes, the government is going to be using your 2019 taxes to decide if you qualify for a stimulus check and how much you would get. And if you haven't filed your 2019 taxes yet, then they're going to use your 2018 return. And as for how much money you're going to be receiving, it's going to break down like this. For individuals who had an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less, you would receive the full $1,200. If you filed head of household, you would need to have an adjusted gross income of $112,500 or less to receive full credit. And if you're a married couple who filed together, you would need to have an adjusted gross income of $150,000 or less to receive the $2,400. And for families with kids under the age of 17 and met the requirements to receive a stimulus check, then you would receive an additional $500 per child. That means a family of four could receive up to $3,900. Then if you're someone who's received Social Security retirement, disability payments, and a few other qualifying reasons why you maybe didn't file a tax form, such as maybe your income was too low, you could still be eligible for a stimulus check. But according to AARP, you do need to file a 2019 tax form, so be sure to do that. But if you take a look at the numbers, not everyone is going to receive money here. And remember, this is a one-time payment. Although it's been mentioned, this could be revisited if needed in the future. And then some good news about these stimulus checks is that they are not taxable. So the money you get is the money you get. There aren't any 2020 tax implications for these stimulus checks. Then there's the phase out where stimulus checks start to decrease for those individuals who had an adjusted gross income above $75,000, for head of households who had an adjusted gross income above $112,500, and for married couples filing together who had an adjusted gross income above $150,000. And if your adjusted gross income was above that, your stimulus check will decrease $5 for every $100 your adjusted gross income was over those numbers. So for example, if you had an adjusted gross income of $85,000, your check would be for $700, not for $1,200. So if you're an individual with an adjusted gross income of $99,000 or more, head of household with an adjusted gross income of $136,500, or a married couple filing together with an adjusted gross income of $198,000 or more, you're not receiving a check. Now remember, your adjusted gross income is not the same as your taxable income. It's your taxable income subtracting out certain deductions like your 401k, for example. And if you were looking for a quick and easy way to know your 2018 or 2019 adjusted gross income, then you can check line 8B on your 2019 1040 tax form or line seven on your 2018 1040 tax form. And these stimulus checks should start being sent out in the next couple of weeks, but I've seen a few reports saying it could be a month or two before some people receive their money. But the treasury secretary says he expects most people to get their money within three weeks. Now, if you've already entered your bank account information with the IRS, then the IRS should be directly depositing your stimulus account into your account. If they don't, they'll be mailing you a check. Now, while the government's saying they look to have these checks sent out in the next couple of weeks, the bill does say payments will be sent by the end of this year, but with how important it is for people to get these funds, I really don't expect the checks to take that long to get to people, because this money will be extremely helpful for individuals or families. And regardless of your political opinion, many people are going through an extremely rough time right now, maybe after being laid off, furloughed, their hours have been cut, and many other reasons. So this check could be quite beneficial for them to help reduce their stress and make sure they can either pay some of their bills or just keep food in the house. And depending on how long things are closed and shut down, 
It may not be enough, but fortunately this was approved and money will be sent out to people soon. So tell me, are you going to be getting a stimulus check? And if so, how are you planning to use it? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And if you know somebody who could benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And until next time, safe travels and take care.